This is day five of War Strongest Man. Yeah, this early in the morning? You know, Marcy? Oh, starting off on the right. You know. Did that make you look rich? It's going to be a good show. We're in pretty good positions for both the lads. It's um, really good events for Tom today, and he's, you know, closing in on Alexi, so. Hopefully he'll be closer ahead going into Stones and Tom can do what he does. For Luke, he's still got a chance of making the podium. We just need things to go sort of his way, but the focus is going to be like a 100% performance. What was the reasoning behind uh, not making Tom do the right in this one? So, if Alexi had missed the 246, they would have split points. If Alexi had got the 246, Alexi only really gained half a point on him uh, compared to his, if they'd drawn on the weight before. And it's really heavy, it, you know, it's a big risk. It's a risky thing to be chucking that sort of weight overhead. We've hit every lift on the way up as well. So Tom's turned up today feeling fresh. He feels really good. And from our point of view, he's a giant. So the power stairs are good for him. You know, he's sort of 50 kilos heavier than Alexi, so the bus pull should be good for him. And he's the greatest stone lifter who's ever lived. So it's worth taking that half a point hit on points and coming into today that little bit fresher. What do you think it means for Tom if he was to become a back-to-back -back winner of World Strongest Man? Nah, not much, he's not fussed. <laughs> Less than Rangers winning, I think. Um, <laughs> No, it's huge. You know, from a sport point of view, I think the last person to do it was Brian Shaw. It's a massive thing to achieve and, you know, to be so dominant in the groups then come into the finals and it's sort of the perfect professional level performance. So it's, it's massive. I couldn't be more proud of him if he does it. I couldn't be more proud of both of them either way, to be honest. I'm so nervous, but excited. I'm excited for him because he's... I don't know, he's nervous but confident at the same time, if that makes sense. I think it's going to be good, a good day for him. I'm quite confident yeah. in these. I can't wait to see him do the power stairs. How excited do you think the crowd's yeah, going to be today? They're going to be insane. Yeah. They're just going to, it's because it's the last event and it's going to determine who's the strongest man in the world, isn't it? And then when Tom's the best in the world at Stones, it's going to be crazy. And say if Tom was to make the uh, first place? What's the, what's the first what's the first thing you're gonna do? Probably pee, because I don't pee <laughs> during the competition. What did you get up to last night, Neve? I didn't do these, these are Jordan's. Jordan made some signs. So last night, myself, Neve and Simon uh, made a load of signs. So we're going around trying to find Stockman fans to hand them out to. There we go. What have you got there, bro? I have got a beautiful sign made by the beautiful Stockman team. Because let's fucking go. Tommy's gonna bring it home. And Luke's not gonna do bad either. <laughs> Right, Jordan, how long did it take you to make all the signs? Um, <laughs> I hate to admit, I was doing that for a couple hours last night. Whoa, drug is mad! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, bro! What do you think of the signs so far, Josh? What do I think of what? So the signs. I think Knees one's the best. They're all done by Jordan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That one was the worst one, okay? Jordan, can you do a shimmy? This is Dan's first ever time being at World Strawers Man. Myself and Luke, we've sat down before World. Me being aut of autism, Luke having his fitness issues. We're both different athletes. Dan had to kind of get a balance of what not to do in front of me to Luke, not what to do in front of Luke to me, etc., etc. So I used to ha need Dan to do a lot of hands-on and a lot of telling me what to do, etc. Now, but now I'm a more independent athlete. Dan's more just there now in the background. If we need anything, he'll tell us. He'll obviously come out with us. The greatest thing right now is Dan's giving us space. So Dan's done the first part of his job is to get me and Luke to the final. Know, stuck to his game plan, we've stuck to our game plan. We have banter, you know, we go back and forth with each other and have banter, which is really good. He just knows everything now about us, so it's a really, really good bit, and it's really good that Dan's here as well. But yeah, having Dan here is a massive, massive boost, and the feedback he's we've given him and he's taking that on board 100%, and it's been amazing. Alexi's a freak, like, what do you do? So Tom needs to win the next two events, which he can do, and then Alexi needs to be like third or worse. Does he have to win it? 
Well, he has to be two places ahead of him. This is three and a half points ahead now. You reckon uh, Tom can beat uh, Lights in the Power Steps? I think so. Like on paper he can, but on paper he should have beaten him on truck pull and. What I'm thinking as well is like this: the stone run isn't as set, it's, and it's not heavy. Yeah, so you reckon that's a free for all as well? Yeah, it's just going to be a wild last two events. <laughs> Guys, we'll just turn up, do our job, see what happens. <laughs> Bitches get paid. Coaching didn't go to plan. Yes, <laughs> 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 by the way, I saw this yesterday. Are you filming? Are you filming me doing it? Thank you. Now we know the whole is so much better than the ones that you guys made. <laughs> yeah, yours is the best. Thanks, it's my fault. Fantastic. World's strongest man. What do you have there? We have snow cones. This should be exciting. I got you this one. They had strawberry, so boom, this one's yours. My name's. Oh my god, update your website. Please update quicker. Please update quicker. <laughs> Woo. Going into the power stairs, we needed a perfect result uh, and that's almost what we got Tom came second to Maxime Boudreau who put in a fantastic performance the guy is lightning on this event um, and then you know a few other people didn't place as well everything came perfectly the guys who were below Tom got in between him and Alexi and Tom is going into Atlas Stones a point and a half in the lead of World's Strongest Man so it's not over, as we know in Glasgow, strongman's a weird sport, but as it stands, we're in a good position. Wow, I mean, yeah, you're talking a small group of men who've done that, back-to-back, -back, world's strongest man wins. You're looking at Kazmar, he was a fairly good strongman. You know, you're looking at the likes of Z, jeez, who else has done it? Not many. I mean, it's uh, Bruce Wilhelm did it right early on, but it's harder, much harder to do it now. Got four world strongest man winners in the final. He hasn't done it yet, though. So don't count your chickens before they start to hatch. So uh, Novikov is driven on more than the rest of the guys. So be warned. He's he's uh, he's he's got something very special driving him this year, and he he's he's doing it for a nation. It's not just himself. And that's that's I'm sure it's true for all the others, but not in the same respect. He, he did the most extraordinary bus pull any man has ever seen. And I think in the power stairs, he just ran out of steam. But he'll, he'll regroup. He has, he has no option in his mind. It's almost first or death for him. And that, that's a dangerous man to be against. And we're running him with the stones this time, so beware. Big Tommy will do it though, I think. I think, you know, he's, he's, he's just a monster, isn't he? He's just a giant and he'll do it with a smile on his face. As for Big Luke, a couple percent better every year. I hope he gets rid of the demons of last year when he when he flunked the stones. Luke Stoneman is one of the greatest stone lifters there is. People forget that. First thing he was good at was stones, and that was what he really made his mark on in the early Britain's Strongest Man. So beware. And I, if he does a good performance, pulls himself up, gets a nice top five position, maybe the best finish ever for him. Because let's face it, he was you know, he slipped down the rankings in the stones last year very badly. So that's that's what I think um, Stoltman spicy fans have to hope and uh, yeah who knows how are you feeling going into the last event bro I'm just overwhelmed so emotional scared everything all of them he'll do amazing he's a king of stones 
just needs to keep cool, keep calm, and just get it done. Yeah. As long as he comes out injury free, it just scares me what they put their bodies through. It's just, it's just for it's so much. I'm sorry, anything could happen, and then for them to put their bodies through all that exhaustion for one slip up is so just really scary. I just I don't know. That's the worst that could happen, and the worst that could happen is he could come second in the stones and be still win. That's that's the worst for Tom, worst scenario anyway, or getting hurt. Are we still going ahead with uh, Tom taking a year off next year? Well, I don't know, he said that last year, so I hope so, I really hope so. Like, my heart is just not going to take any more of this stress. <laughs> I'm only 27 and it's going to kill me. But yeah, hopefully he takes a rest, gets body recovered, have loads of babies. <laughs> <laughs> And chill. <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> a plan anyway, hopefully. And then, but I don't know, I don't see him taking that a year off. I can see him wanting to go for it again. Especially, depends on this outcome. I think if he wins, he will take a year off. But if he doesn't, he'll want to come back. He'll be hungry and want to get that second gold trophy. That's his goal anyway. Yeah, this not bad. champion Tom Stoltman, the greatest living strongman, the best in modern day era, Tom Stoltman. Prove me wrong. We'll see you next year. It's not up to the athlete to leave a legacy. It's up for the world to decide if a legacy exists. Luke just has to be himself. And that is an incredibly strong athlete. Luke has won a prize here before. He won, he won the Jimmy Pollock Award. He won it for, for just bringing great humor and personality to the contest. This year, Mark Felix won it. So it's actually, it's an incredible honor to win because it, it, you really are, it's someone who is in this crazy madcap family, so respected that they want to just give an award as a thank you. That sounds kind of lame maybe to some, but I think amongst this fraternity, it means a lot. You really, you really have been an outstanding, great guy. That hints more his legacy than anything else. What's our new game? How deep can you go? Three, two, one, let's go! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Jesus! What's in there? Some magicalness. Very magical. Is that a voice message? No, I'm doing a video. What's inside this? <laughs> well, there's not another Dan Hipkiss. 
thankfully. It is the golden World's Strongest Man Trophy yeah. times two. Please do not break this one. British Airways, please. Please. Where are we going, Lucas? Home. Where are we, bro? Uh, guys, we are one stop away from home. We're at Heathrow Airport. We got here safely. I stupidly put ice on my back and I've got ice blisters, but it is what it is. It's something always has to happen to Tommy. It's not fun if something didn't happen to Tommy. We're not dead, that's the main thing. Uh, we're going to be splitting up with from Dan and the Milligan soon. Their journey ends here. We have to wait for about five hours here, which is annoying, but it's better than going to Glasgow anyway. So we will see you guys when we get through security because apparently it's a long wait. We've been travelling for about 50 hours, it feels like, just in Heathrow. Uh, I'm just going to get our flight in the next 20 minutes. Big Tommy's a little bit tired, celebrating hard in the plane on the way home. So hopefully you enjoyed the World's Strongest Man 2022 footage that we put out. Tried to cover as much as we could. It was great, good show. Obviously very good for Tommy. He's not that excited. He's more excited about soccer than... Oh, so, so. you're awake now? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when he thought, flight to the nurse is soon. Uh, I just want to get home and get into my bed, because I'm dead. And then training for soccer aid starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tom's out for a 10k run tomorrow morning. Um, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll cut the video to now. But we'll give you a, a recap over all the stuff that happened out in the world. A couple of things that you know we talked about. We can maybe go into a little bit more in detail. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for the support, guys. Thank you for all the lovely messages. For all you guys that's buying the merchandise, it means a huge deal. We're going to be dropping a limited edition merchandise um, celebrating Tommy's back-to-back -back championship. So stay tuned for that. Anyway. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. <laughs> Don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, hey guys, Brian Shaw here. I just like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, it's great to be out of here. Uh, make sure to check out Shaw Classic and buy it. <laughs>